everyone and welcome back to another studio vlog i hope you're all having an amazing week so far my goal for today is to finish the sketches and written instructions for the pattern that i'm going to publish this week and by the time you watch this video the video for crochet baby boots will be already up on my channel so make sure you go and check that one too and of course i hope you will like it and maybe use it for your next crochet project i already finished the sketches and i already found the yarn that i'm going to use for my crochet boots if you follow me for a while now you already know how much i like paint box yarn i actually love it because it's available in so many different colors and because the fibers are very nicely twisted together which is very important if you're a fast crochet or if you're using crochet hooks that have pointy end or a very thin end of the hook and the nicely twisted yarn really helps a lot now i'm going to start working on written instructions i'm going to crochet one shoe first and i'm going to crochet the second one tomorrow when i will be working on the video tutorial so let's do that now Today is going to be a very busy day. We have a whole day of filming and editing ahead of us. I'm going to prepare the room for filming now. I have two large soft boxes that I have to place here near to my desk. I use artificial lighting for filming the videos and taking photos because this studio has only one window and our building is very close to the building next to us. Therefore, this room in the apartment gets very little light during a day. So so the next thing that I'm going to prepare is the tripod. I have a very special tripod that has an arm on the top so you can attach the camera and the camera is then facing down to the table. Then I will be using a large piece of cardboard in white color because my table is actually gray and I prefer white for the background uh, for my videos and my photos. So the last thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to attach this camera that I'm using now to the tripod and film a video tutorial for you guys so you can watch it later and create your own pair of baby shoes. So let's do it!
Hello everyone, I have great news. The video tutorial and PDF pattern are already finished, so they are complete. What I have to do now is just upload them to YouTube and my store, so uh, I will upload them on Etsy, Reverly and Love Crochet, so you can find them there. You can also find the written instructions for this pattern on my blog, Krobe Patterns. So that will be there. The biggest part of everything is, of course, editing. So perfecting all the pieces um, to make them, you know, just the best as they can be. So before I go, I want to show you something, something else. I ordered something from AliExpress a couple of weeks ago and the package arrived yesterday. I don't know if you're familiar with the crochet hooks that has uh, LED light inside. I have two of them. One is 3.5 millimeter and the other one is 4 millimeter crochet hook. You can turn them on or off. There is a light inside of the handle and this light projects through the plastic hook, you see? Those crochet hooks are great if you are using very dark shade of yarn where it's hard to see the stitches. So I ordered a very similar crochet hook. It's actually a bunch of hooks. I already opened the bag. I couldn't help myself, but I didn't open the box inside. So I ordered a crochet hook with a bunch of hooks that you can switch between. They are in sizes from 2.5 millimeter up to 6.5 millimeters, which is great. The hook has an LED light. Uh, that you can charge with the USB cable. I'm very excited to see what's inside, so let's open it together. Okay, so the package came in a very simple plastic bag and inside was a box wrapped in a plastic again. On the box is written that this is a rechargeable lighted hook with interchangeable heads with a few unique features. And those features are high-powered LED lights, high-quality precision resin hooks, ultra comfortable silicone grip handle for extreme comfort, then rechargeable crochet hook that is easy to charge and easy to use on and off switch. Uh, there is a couple more things written on the back. So let's see, you get a full set of hooks in nine sizes from 2.5 millimeters up to 6.5 millimeters. You can adjust the brightness. You can charge the hook via USB cable and the charging takes approximately 15 minutes and one charging lasts seven to nine hours. Now let's see which of those are actually true. Let me just quickly mention the whole set costed me around six dollars, which is almost the same as middle range crochet hook. The quality of the case is really nice and the color is vibrant pink, which is cute. There are a couple of black lines on the back, probably because of the zipper, but nothing too bad. The zipper is fine. You don't need to use a force to open it. It opens smoothly. When you open the case, you see a crochet hook and a USB cable on the right and hook and a small tool to unscrew the hook off of the crochet hook on the left side of the case. Everything has its own place which looks really nice and clean. If you compare the light on one of my older crochet hooks and this new one, you can see that the light on the older one is much stronger. You have two brightness modes and both of them are much weaker. If I compare it with the old one, the second setting is so weak that you get a feeling that the light is not even on, no matter how big the plastic hook is. There is a little bit harder to get the hooks and the tool out of the foam, which is in my opinion not that bad because it prevents them from falling out and maybe even get lost. The size of each hook is written at the bottom of the shaft and you can see the number when the hook is attached to the handle, which is not a great thing, but still. I had some trouble attaching the hook to the handle. It looked like the hook was not the correct size, but the problem was that you just have to turn it the right way to fit the screw on the shaft. So there is a side on the tool that is a little bit bigger than the other one and that side of the tool has to be facing up. Otherwise you will have a feeling that something just isn't quite right with the tool, which I will say was my mistake, but also there were no instructions that would tell you how to turn it right. Uh, you could potentially go and use your fingers to screw and unscrew the hook from the handle, but only with larger hooks. The smaller ones look too fragile and could potentially break. 
I don't know, here you can see the difference between you and the old crochet hook. You can see that the light on the old one is way much stronger and it covers larger area of stitches than the new one. The handle is very nice quality, it's very comfortable to hold, but I think it's even better for people who hold the hook like a pencil. I personally hold mine as a knife. Overall, I like this little set of crochet hooks. I think they are decent quality. They are fun to use even if you don't really like LED light. You get a nice set of hooks in different sizes, but still, I would not exchange them for crochet hooks I usually use. I think the set can be a nice birthday gift to someone who likes to crochet. Also, it's a nice option to have, but I would not buy it for myself again. It's just not my thing right now. I will leave the link to this set in the description box below if any of you would like to check it out. The link is not affiliate link, I was not sponsored or asked to show you this set of hooks and the hooks were not sent to me. I bought them myself because they looked interesting and I wanted to try them out and share it with you guys. Okay guys, that would be more or less everything for this vlog. I'm going to start with a new video tutorial later today and I'm going to make a crochet pattern for baby black. Blanket. That's a little inside information for those who came this far in the video. I will see how fast I will be able to wrap up the whole thing. So it was really nice to chat with you guys. Uh, this whole studio vlog thing is entirely new to me. I'm playing around with a bunch of ideas, but I would love to hear yours as well. Of course, leave a yarn emoji if you came this far. Have a great week, crochet something beautiful, and I see you guys very soon. Bye!